Hey guys, this week we're continuing our look into bedding bass behavior. This time we're going to look at some males and females together on the bed and see how they behave. I got a couple of new baits I'm throwing, a couple of new techniques. So let's get under the water and check it out. And one of the first things that I'll do when I think I see a bedding bass is I'll take my bait and I'll throw it in the area that I see the bass and I'll wait to see if it swims off completely or if it'll come back around. And so this fish is backing up right now. It's seen my bait when I threw it in there initially and it swims off. Now I'm going to leave it in there for about 30 seconds and I see that the fish circles back around. It comes back. So now I know this fish is catchable. It is on this bed. It may be not locked on yet, but it is starting to get in the bed and settle in. Now that I know this fish is catchable, I'm going to start to move the bait around, give it some hops, shake it, see how it reacts and, and study its behavior. And I'm just watching it right here. I can see it's, it's starting to whip around, do those, those quick whips that we talked about earlier. So I know it's, it's starting to get aggressive now where it maybe will bite soon, but I need to change something up to get it to actually bite this thing. And it just bit the tail a little bit right there, but not taking the whole thing in. And what I'm really trying to do right here is get this female to get, get in the bed. She's sitting just out of the frame and she's watching everything that is going on. This technique that you'll start to see me do right here is I'm taking a, a one ounce tungsten mega weight and I am dragging it through this bed and I'm stirring up the bedding area. This can really get the bass upset a lot of times. They, they know something is down there messing with their, their bed and as you can see now he's, he's starting to really get on it and bite it and the female is starting to really look hard and she is getting interested more and more as I drag this thing hard through the bed. One of the ways you can tell a bass is really starting to get interested in your bait besides it biting it is actually looking at its posture. You can see this bass right here is turning up on its side so it can get a better look at the bait and really figure out what it is. It's turning over on each side looking with its eyes because its eyes are on the side of its head so it can really get a good look. Now you can see the female in the back of the frame. She is starting to come into the bed and get interested as well. When the female comes around the bed, the bass, the male bass will really start to get aggressive because he's got to do his job. He's got to protect this nest in front of her so she knows. So he's really going to start getting aggressive here and biting almost every time. He's not actually eating the bait, but he's biting it every time. So I'm going to switch it up and go with the jig and show this fish something different to get a, get a bite. You can see he really goes after it right there and give him one more cast and he's gonna eat it. Now, I could not get the female to bite, unfortunately, but this wasn't a bad fish, so I was gonna go ahead and catch it. Now, here we are in another bed. We're actually looking at a female bass right now, and a lot of times you can tell the female bass because she's bigger. She's much bigger than the male bass, but in this case, they're both about the same size. But the females normally will stay in one specific area. A lot of times it's away from the bed. They'll sit on a stump or a little patch of grass just away from the bed and watch the bed from far away. Now right there I just popped her with the jig and she just kind of sluggishly moved. You know she's staying in the same spot and the male is seeing this and he's starting to know that something is wrong and he's going to start getting tighter and tighter into the bed because he's doing circles right now. He's being very active Normally the males are spending a lot more energy than the females. Now the male is watching this female right now and he's noticing that she's getting agitated by something, something is bothering her. He's going to come over into the bed and start getting really protective. Now here you see both of the fish and I'm just flip flopping between a, a white lizard because I can see it down there, it's a little bit murkier, and a jig just doing the different presentations like we talked about, you know, just going through that, that confusing uh, strategy. 
and I see that they're both getting really locked onto the bed, so I'll start doing those little surprising hops. And right there, he just gave himself away. I know how to catch him now. So I'm gonna hop this jig through right here, and you're gonna see this fish react to it, and I didn't even have time to set the hook. Look how fast this is. That is always amazing to me to see how fast these bass really are. But I know I can catch him now, so I'm gonna just continue to do the same thing, and he's gonna come back and get it. As you can see, the female, she's just stuck there, but they're both about the same size, so really doesn't matter which one I catch. So here we go, one last cast, and we'll get him. Hop, hop, he's gonna come over like Jaws, and we set the hook. There you have some more bedding bass footage, the males and females interacting together. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that big female I was looking for. It's so hard to find the ones that aren't camera shy, and I'm still looking for the moment where the male and female come together and they're real aggressive. Uh, that's, that's a hard moment to capture, but I'm looking for it. Also, I'm going to continue to look for the fry guarding stage, which should be coming up here in a few weeks. So that'll be our conclusion of the three-part series of looking at bedding bass behavior videos. And also, I want to show you the key baits that I throw and the, all the techniques that I go through. So keep your lines tight, and I'll see you next time.